Hello, and welcome to the enchanted world of Arthurian legends, a tapestry woven from the golden threads of mythic narrative and historical speculation. Our journey today begins with the origins of the legends that surround the figure known as King Arthur, a character who has captivated the imagination of storytellers and audiences alike for centuries. Diving into the heart of these legends, we encounter the fabled kingdom of Camelot, adorned in the minds of many by grandeur and an aura of timeless wonder. Delving deeper into the narrative, we find the legendary Knights of the Round Table, champions of chivalry and honor, bound by the noble ideals laid forth by their king. Each knight, from the pure Sir Galahad to the loyal Sir Lancelot, brings a unique chapter to the epic saga of Camelot. And at the center of it all is Excalibur, a sword of unyielding strength and symbol of divine kingship, bestowed upon Arthur by the mystical Lady of the Lake. Here, history and fantasy intertwine to create a realm where bravery and betrayal coexist, unfolding in a chronicle of heroic exploits that have etched their mark into British folklore. Our exploration is not complete without the mention of the enigmatic wizard Merlin, whose wisdom and sorcery serve as both the foundation and the guiding hand of Arthur's legacy. In many ways, Merlin epitomizes the mythical aspects of the legends, becoming a figure shrouded in the mysteries of druidic lore and ancient Britonic history. His role as advisor to kings and mentor to heroes echoes through the Arthurian tales, solidifying his place in the overarching narrative that persists in the fabric of British cultural heritage. In this enchanted domain, where myth meets reality, the Arthurian legends continue to ignite the flames of imagination and inspire the search for deeper understanding of our past. We delve now into the hallowed annals of medieval literature, where the mythos of King Arthur was shaped and solidified for posterity. Central to this formative era is Geoffrey of Monmouth, a name synonymous with the Arthurian legend. His seminal work, the Historia Regum Britannia, or the History of the Kings of Britain, penned in the 12th century, is arguably the foundation upon which the legend's grandeur was built. It is here that Arthur's image is first painted as a gallant king whose valor and fortitude carved out an empire. Geoffrey's narrative imbued the legend with a newfound level of complexity and depth that resonated through the ages, inspiring countless retellings of the Arthurian saga. Not content to let the legend rest in the dusty corners of history, Sir Thomas Mallory, writing in the 15th century, reinvigorated the tales of Camelot with his own adaptation, Le Mort d'Arthur. Mallory's work is pivotal. It not only popularized the legend beyond scholarly circles, but also unified the disparate tales of Arthur and his knights into a cohesive structure. His vision of Arthur's world was one of chivalry and tragic beauty, a reflection of the author's own turbulent era. Mallory's rendition provided a romanticized depiction that would captivate readers for generations, setting the precedent for the modern understanding of Arthurian myth. The transformation of the Arthurian legends did not cease with Mallory. The tales were continually reinterpreted through the medieval period, experiencing a sort of literary evolution. Each retelling, each manuscript, served to distill the essence of King Arthur and his knights, enriching the story with the values and preoccupations of the time. From the French romances, which added characters like Lancelot and the Holy Grail, to the Welsh tales, which preserved ancient Celtic motifs, the Arthurian legend became not just a story, but a cultural tapestry, weaving together the ideals of honor, love, and heroism that still captivate the world today. Venturing deep into the annals of history, we strive to illuminate the shadowy figure of King Arthur, a name that echoes through the corridors of time. The quest for the historical King Arthur begins with a conundrum. Did this legendary king truly exist? Researchers and historians alike have delved into this mystery for centuries, poring over ancient documents and relics of the past. The earliest substantial account of Arthur comes from a historical compilation known as the Historia Britonum, attributed to a Welsh monk named Nennius around the year 830. This manuscript references a warrior leader who fought against Saxon invaders. Yet, 
skepticism remains high, as these writings surfaced long after the purported time of Arthur's reign, which would have been in the late 5th to early 6th centuries. Another glimpse into the era comes from Gildas, a 6th century British cleric who penned Dexidio et Conquestu Britanniae. While Gildas refrains from naming Arthur, he describes a battle of Mount Baden, where Britons halted the advance of the Saxons, a feat later texts attribute to Arthur. The exact site of Mount Baden remains elusive, adding to the enigma surrounding his storied battlefield triumphs. Transitioning from manuscript to soil, archaeologists have combed through sites across post-Roman Britain in a bid to unearth the truth. Excavations, particularly at Tintagel in Cornwall and Cadbury Castle in Somerset, have unveiled fortifications and remnants that some tie to Arthur's legendary stronghold, Camelot. However, these findings date from a spread of centuries, presenting challenges in linking them explicitly to a single historical figure. The archaeological tapestry weaves a complex picture of the period, with post-Roman Britain emerging as a mosaic of petty kingdoms and warrior elites. While no direct evidence of Arthur's existence has been discovered, some suggest he could have been a composite of several leaders from that era, possibly even a Roman military figure like Lucius Artorius Castus, who held a command in Britain in the second century. The dearth of conclusive evidence has not deterred enthusiasts and skeptics from formulating theories. One compelling argument points to the Annales Cambriae, or Welsh Annals, which record a victory at Baden in the year 516 and Arthur's mortal wounding at Camlan in 537. Though the Annals were compiled much later, they reference earlier sources, offering a tantalizing chronological anchor for Arthur's legend. Concluding our historical quest, we're left with the intricate weave of lore and conjecture, a testament to the profound impact of the Arthurian legend. The elusive nature of Arthur's historical footprint serves as a testament to the power of storytelling and the enduring allure of a hero who may have been or perhaps never was. The search for the historical King Arthur remains a rich field of inquiry, a blend of hope, imagination, and rigorous scholarly pursuit. As we delve deeper into the mystical tapestry of King Arthur's narrative, we transition to the powerful reverberations it continues to send through our modern era. The Arthurian legacy is not just a tale, it's an evolving cultural bedrock that has profoundly influenced literature, cinema, and our broader popular culture. In literature, the legend of King Arthur has been a fertile ground for reinterpretation and retelling. T. H. White's The Once and Future King, published in 1958, stands as a landmark work that reimagines the legend for a new audience, infusing it with themes relevant to the 20th century. White's exploration of power and justice resonates to this day, influencing readers' perceptions of noble governance and moral righteousness. On the big screen, the 1981 film Excalibur, directed by John Borman, took cinematic liberties to craft a visually stirring rendition of the legend, gripping audiences with its epic storytelling and the eternal struggle between good and evil. The Arthurian legend continues to attract filmmakers, as seen in the 2017 film King Arthur, Legend of the Sword, which, despite its modern take, taps into the timeless allure of the sword in the stone, majestic battles and Camelot's ideological utopia. Beyond the page and screen, the Arthurian legend permeates every strand of pop culture's fabric. In video games, series like Tomb Raider and Final Fantasy have drawn upon Arthurian symbols and characters, proving that these age-old narratives can seamlessly intersect with digital frontiers to create immersive and compelling experiences. But what ignites this undying fascination? Is it the breathtaking spectacle of knights in shining armor and quests for holy relics, or is it something deeper? The Arthurian legend serves as a mirror, reflecting our ongoing quest for heroism and the human yearning for a world where honor and valor outshine our darkest tendencies. In a contemporary landscape often marred by moral ambiguity, these tales offer a glimpse of clarity, a reminder of values that, despite the passage of time, remain a crucial beacon for society's collective conscience. It's this intricate dance between escapism and reflection 
that locks the Arthurian legend into a state of perpetual relevance. The narrative may shift shapes, characters may come and go, but the core essence of striving for greatness against all odds, the pursuit of justice, and the power of myth ensures that King Arthur's legend will endure, entrancing generations to come. As long as these themes resonate with the human spirit, the round table will never truly fall to ruin, and Excalibur will always rise from the lake as a symbol for the ages. Today, in our final chapter of this legendary tale, we delve into the human psyche and its ceaseless enchantment with heroes and noble deeds. Heroes have walked through the annals of history and fiction, capturing hearts with their gallantry and valor. But what is it about heroism and the concept of chivalry that so fascinates us? Chivalry, with its roots deeply entrenched in the medieval code of conduct, was more than just the art of war. It was a way of life championing courtesy, honor, and bravery. These ideals have transcended the ages, mirrored in our adoration for figures such as King Arthur, who is emblematic of this virtuous pinnacle. But let's look beyond the individual acts of heroism to our intrinsic desire for myth-making and storytelling. Throughout history, dating back to the ancient civilizations of Greece and Mesopotamia, myths have served a crucial role in defining societies, cultures, and our very human nature. They provide not just entertainment, but also a framework for morality, a way to make sense of the world and to encode our societal values. These myths and stories, like those spun around the round table, are vessels traveling through time, carrying the essence of humanity's aspirations and ideals. What then does the enduring popularity of the Arthurian legends reveal about us? Their survival through centuries shows our collective longing for a narrative that promises something greater than our mundane existence. It speaks to our appreciation of the noble, the pure, and our deep-seated need for hope. Hope that there is a hero waiting within all of us, capable of extraordinary feats in the name of justice and righteousness. The Arthurian legend has become a canvas on which we project these desires, a testament to our never-ending quest for meaning, and a story that continues to inspire countless hearts to find the hero within. Thank you for joining us on this historical journey through the legend of King Arthur. We hope you've enjoyed the melding of myth and reality as much as we have. If you liked our episode, please subscribe and share with fellow history buffs. And don't forget to comment below with your suggestions for future topics. The most liked suggestion stands a chance to become our next great adventure. Until next time, keep seeking legends and creating your own stories. Farewell.